Hi, my name is Kristen Rudolph. I'm a registered dietitian with Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center, and I'm here today to give you some ideas on ways to make our kids healthier snackers. Our kids need about five servings a day of fruits and vegetables, so it just makes sense to include them in as snacks. For starters, what you always want to do is to have a fresh fruit bowl at the centerpiece of your table. Grab some colorful apples, oranges, grapes, or bananas, place them at the center of your table. That way, when the kids walk in, they can grab a piece right off the table. It's one of the first things they might see, again, making it easier for them to choose it as a snack. What else you can do is take whatever fruit you have, cut up, place it into a bowl. You can add in some canned fruit as well, perhaps some mandarin oranges or some cut up pineapple. Mix them all together. Place it in a clear glass bowl or a clear plastic bowl. And then you want to place it eye level. So right when the kids open up the door, again, that's one of the first things they see, making it easier as a choice for a snack. With our vegetables, start with some bright, colorful vegetables, perhaps your standard carrots and celery. Either buy them already cut up or in bulk at the store and cut them up yourselves. Throw in some bright colored peppers, cucumbers, grape tomatoes, whatever you choose. Cut them up, make them, again, easily accessible in a clear plastic bowl or a plastic bag, and then add in some dips. Take, for example, some hummus, low-fat cottage cheese, some peanut butter, or even make your own low-fat ranch dip using low-fat sour cream and a dried salad dressing mix. You can mix it together, place it in a small plastic container, that way it's portion controlled, and the kids will have fun dipping their veggies. Again, making it more of an easy access for the kids and better acceptance. Now, when we think about snacks, one of the first things we might think about would be portable and convenient, perhaps a granola bar or a cereal bar. The problem with these, there's so many different kinds to choose from, you can't decide which ones are the healthier ones to choose. When you grab your granola bar or cereal bar, take a look at the nutrition facts label and the ingredients. If sugar is one of the first ingredients, probably not a great choice. You want to look for one that has perhaps less than 8 grams of sugar per serving, one that has a low amount of fat, moderate amount of calories, and a little bit of fiber and protein can help round it out. That way you know you're getting a healthy choice. Now some of our most popular snacks would be our salty snacks, popular with adults and kids. The problem is they come in very large bags. So what we can do is if we open up the bag and everybody's eating out of the large bag, you can eat three, four, even five servings at a time without even knowing it. So what you want to do is always, again, look at the nutrition facts label. You want to see how many pretzels are in a serving. This bag, for example, there are seven pretzels. So what you want to do is get your kids involved. Have them count out the seven pretzels. They can place them again in a small bowl or use one of these clear, small, snack size bags. That way, they're getting one serving size and you'll know that they're getting one serving each time they eat it. A fun idea for the kids would be to create a healthy snack mix. Start with some low-fat staples, perhaps a high-fiber cereal, one that's easy to pick up, some low-fat popcorn, and even some pretzels. You can throw in some dried fruit, some peanuts, whatever your kids might like. Have them pick three or four different options, place them, again, in the small snack size bag, and there you have a healthy snack mix. The kids will be excited because they helped create it, and you'll feel good because it's pre-portioned out. Now, to round out our snacks, if you want to add in a lean protein, extra calcium and vitamin D, add in a low-fat dairy product. Some of my favorites would be the portion controlled string cheese, or you can use the portable yogurts that come in the tubes. I like to throw these in the freezer. That way the kids think they're getting a sweet ice cream treat. I hope you find some of these ideas helpful. If you'd like to look for some more ideas, please check out our website. On behalf of Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center, I'm Kristen Rudolph.